it's vlog time. I adore Bert and Sean from Best Story Time, and I adore Heather from Soggy Expat Book Nerd, and they are running Shorty September with this super cool graphic from Heather and her daughter Arnwen, which I just love. So I'm going to vlog my way through it. We'll see how far we get. I have big plans. But today is the 1st of September, so we're starting shooting September. And as an ode to Bert, I'm going to start with the Simenon. Because I hauled this a long time ago and Bert said, oh my God, I love Simenon. So this is my, there's all different prompts, which is super cool. What's this one? I put, I put labels on them so I remember. Ripped shorts. They're all different shorts. Can you see that? Um, where's rip shots? Oh, it's down the bottom. A slasher slash murder mystery. I'm not going to do that. This is as close as I can get. And it's a short book. So I'm going to take the small window of time that I have before I have to go and run errands and collect children and do all those sorts of things and get started on shorty September. So, yay. I'm really, really excited. I planned to do this a while ago and you know when you're waiting for a, for the time to come and it's now finally the 1st of September so I can join in and that makes me super happy. Okay, I don't have long so I'll see how far I can get. My time is up. I got to chapter three. A man died and Inspector May Gray, who I had to look up the pronunciation of, He's working it out. That's where we're at. Okay, I have to go and do a delivery. I have to go and get something for dinner. I have to get my kids from school. Then I have to come home and I have to set up for my first book club at my house in real life. I don't really know if you could call it a book club. I found two friends who really enjoy reading and we're just going to get together once a month and talk about the books that we've read. And that's happening tonight, so I'm super excited. So I'm off to do the errands so I can get back and do that. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, I'm set up for book club. We're going to watch the sunset out there. And yeah, I've got all my books. I've got my chat about what I've read. We're all coming together with food, so that'll be delicious. Yeah, it's going to be a really nice afternoon. I plan on having a glass of champagne or two. Um, yeah, I went and did my delivery. This beautiful woman bought a cycle journal from me and she lives here near me. So I just delivered it to her and I got to meet her and chat with her. And I drove away from that moment feeling really happy. You know, like those moments where you catch yourself and go, God, I'm really happy I'm where I'm meant to be. I completely felt that, you know, driving to get my son. And I said that to my son. He's like, that's really nice, mom. I know those moments. And I said to him, one of those moments for you guys, when I do a really good tackle in footy. <laughs> so we have different ideas about happiness. <laughs> um, I've got about 20 minutes before everyone arrives. So I might pour myself a cheeky glass of wine or a quick scotch I think have I shown you my scotch decanter I feel really I love whiskey love 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 whiskey I drink it on ice this is my decanter how posh am I I don't and back there that big thing where is it that big thing that's an ice machine so I well that's our grog fridge <laughs> but I get my ice out of there and I have my beautiful little whiskey there all set up to spend the summer out here I don't intend to leave this space all summer it's going to be amazing so amazing once all that construction stops it's going to be amazing so I'm going to have a sneaky whiskey double check on my children they have it's a Thursday but they have a pupil there's a pupil free day tomorrow at their schools so they are screening it up in there because they don't have to go to school tomorrow. So I'll just double check them and then I'll settle in for the night of book club. Really excited. <laughs> I can't wait. I just had the loveliest evening with two amazing women talking about books and 
cooking and all the things that we love to talk about. I showed them my reading room and I gifted them a Becker's Bookoplathon board. I printed it out and stuck it on some cardboard. And so we're going to play that together over the month of September. It was um, beautiful to share my online world with people that I know in real life, which doesn't happen very often. And to share all the things that we do on here, like the readathons and the games that we play with people who hadn't heard about that before. And I, yeah, I have always kind of just kept that to myself and done that with you guys. But yeah, sharing with people in real life felt really good because it's so much fun and I've gotten so much joy from, you know, this community. So yeah, giving that to them feels, um, yeah, feels really nice. And we're not a book club that reads books together. We just, this is the first time we've got together, but we're just going to kind of come together and talk about what we've read and what we're interested in and you know, bookish stuff that we've watched and one of the women is a Sally Rooney fan and an Eleanor Ferrante fan, which I am not. And so that was a cool conversation to have. Um, I showed them my top 50 Aussie books list that I've got hanging up in my reading room. So that was really fun to share. So many, so many things. I, yeah, I felt a lot of joy tonight. And I think for us just to come together and share our bookish thoughts every month is enough. We're busy. We're all busy doing our thing. And, um, yeah, because we like such different books, and I'm not going to read Sally Rooney with her, let me tell you, um, <laughs> because we like such different books, it's really nice to still have that independence um, but be able to come together and still chat. So, so much fun. I just had such a joyous, joyous night. But it is 9.30 now, and if you've been around here before, you know that's super late for me. I haven't read any more, and I would like to before I fall asleep, but let's see how this goes. I'll talk to you in the morning. I'll let, I'll let you know how it goes. If he can keep me awake, he's an amazing author. Good night. Good morning, Friday morning, miserable day, miserable day, not a good day for it to be a pupil free day from school and as a mama who worked from home, these are the days when my community asks for my help because um, people work and pupil free days just don't line up with people who have to go into work, especially teachers. So I have extra children here today on a rainy day. It's not ideal. And my little one has woken up with a sniffle. Even more not ideal. So, yeah. Derry is blowing his nose. But that's okay. I feel good. I feel rested. I feel happy. So, we just need to start the day. Hopefully, I'm sure they will. I like having kids over because they entertain each other. So the kids will entertain each other and I will read and work and yeah, just kind of get about my day where I can. So wish me luck. I'll need all the help I can get, I think. <gasps> day it's been it's two o'clock and I'm finally only just getting to reading I've been in the kitchen 
I have helped a friend with a new business she's setting up, do up her budget and all her stuff. We had our hot water system replaced, so the pumps have been here. Um, and extra children have gone home, they just left. And now I need a nap, like a nap. So, I will get to reading. <laughs> this, this woman's gotta have a nap so I can do the night shift. So, sim it on, we'll wait. Nap first, always nap first. So it just seems to be how my day is going that there's people coming in and out of this place like crazy. So just as I lay down for my nap, somebody else showed up and is dealing with the horses. So I've just given up and I'm here by the fire and I'm going to finish this book. I haven't told you anything about it. It's that guy's dead. And Inspector May Gray is working it out. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. He thinks it's the sun. I don't really know. I'm not really connected to it. Sure, it'd be cool to know what happened. Whatever. Just a standard murder mystery. Not really my bag, but you know. I gotta I gotta cross it off the shorty September list. I think it's the rip shorts, isn't it? The rip shorts. The prompt. So good. I'm on page fifty one of like hundred and fifty or something, so this is me for the afternoon. Ignore the washing. Look at the fire. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'll let you know when I'm done. Moments in murder mysteries where it starts to come together. Started to come together. I feel a lot better. You know how they kind of like are gathering the evidence? They're not kind of like. You know how they gather the evidence and they're talking to the people and nothing gets pulled together and you're just kind of flying around going, what does all this mean? And he's, he's, he's made a silhouette of the dead guy on the ground from his clothes. Yeah. There's a knife involved. There's a gun shot from across an alley, but the dead man climbed the wall. There's no other dead man climbed the wall. The alley's called Nettle Ono oh Lane, Nettle Lane. It's full of nettles. There's a mistress. There's a mistress of the sun. The sun's, they're all focused on the sun, but that tells me not to focus on the sun, right? There's a mistress of the sun who happens to be in the same place. And the guy who died was paying someone in another town from another hotel to send his wife postcards pretending he was there, but he was really there. That's where he died, there, but she thought he was there. It's starting to come together. There's another, there's the local, see, Inspector Maigret, he's from, he's from Paris. He's the big wig, right? But something about the case he can't let go, you see? So there's a, there's a local, local kind of, bumbling policeman who's joined the crew as well and they've got some forensics guy in here now so you know things are starting to heat up we're starting to pull together some of some of these clues there's a padlock but it's got key scratches on it so somebody's used it but it's supposed to have been rusted over and not been usable but there's he had a magnifying glass on him you see and he saw the key scratch. there's lots there's lots going on but I'm very glad it's being pulled together. That's why I turned on this camera because I'm, I'm telling you this is the point in the murder mystery where all of the pieces are starting to be plugged together. But I'm still, I've still got this to go. I'm still confused about where he died. He got shot in the face. I thought it was in some sort of carnival grounds, but I think it was in his hotel room. That's probably an important piece of information that I need to find out. I'm not planning on rereading anything. Anyway, we'll just run with that. He'll tell me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I did it. I finished soon. I have to come in here because it's Friday night and football's on. <laughs> the boy house has begun. Um, look, it's a short, sharp murder mystery. And I just looked on Goodreads and there are a lot of these. Inspector May Gray is the guy. May Gray. I had to look up the pronunciation of that. It's it's easy to read. You're in and you're out. There's 73 of them. 70 or 70 something of them. There's a lot of them. 
And I guess if I see it in a secondhand bookshop, I'd pick more up for sure. Because they're in and out. Though in and out murder mysteries have all of my Agatha Christie sitting up there. I probably prefer to read those than these. But look. It's easy. Look. Three stars. Whatever. You know, like it's nothing spectacular, but it kept me interested. The final result was unexpected. Um, so that's all you can ask for. If I guessed it from the start, then this would be thrown away and I would never want to read another George Simenon mystery again. But because I didn't guess it, and it was kind of, you know, a cool way to put it together, I rate this. This is number three in the series, so... But it's certainly not something I'm going to be ticking off a list. My first read for Shorty September. That feels really good. It's fun to vlog it. It's fun to um, talk you through it. That was for ripped shorts. So, you know, that's cool. I've ticked one off the list. And I'm going to leave it for tonight. And I'll start again tomorrow. No idea what I'm going to read. I'll see you then. Good night.